Welcome back to Enderal. Before I talk to my friend, let's admire this man doing the Skyrim shuffle. Oh my god, it's majestic. Oh. He realized I'm watching and he stopped. <clears throat> hey, you came. Come on, take a seat. Well, that's what C said. So, tell me, how are you holding up? It must have been quite the whirlwind. Yesterday, a refugee from another country, and now a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Honestly, I'm still trying to make sense of it all. Good luck with that. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Anyhow, tell me, what do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Nerim. Tell Jesper about the recent events. Well, you're right about that. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. What are we eating? The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. A richly set table indeed. Are we hitting on him? Some of the ladies are not to be scoffed at indeed. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderall, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kilae next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. What? You want to leave? In spite of all that's happening? <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion. I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, <laughs> me as an ambassador of the Holy Order? Could you imagine that? Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garment so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not that bad, don't you think? Aren't you a little too relaxed, considering that the world is falling to pieces? <laughs> well, what good is a frown, anyway? What matters are results, not attitudes or intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself, and no one else. What exactly are you trying to say? B by the way, this man has been dancing for four hours straight. He's going again. He He's doing it. Nobody can stop him. He's unstoppable. He's a menace. What exactly are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish. Because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, maybe the Keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet, only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so... idiotic, you know? The world would be a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. More? I mean, I couldn't agree more. I was about to say that. I mean, we could also go with this. How can you be so sure that there's no other purpose in our life? No other reason for our existence? I don't know. Call it a feeling. But if there is such a thing as a universal point to our lives, 
then I'm pretty sure we won't find it within the pre-digested philosophies or religions most people believe in. And hey, I'd be the last one to reject this great truth if she were to knock on my door, naked and tits jiggling. But until then, I'd rather try and find my own answers. So what you're saying is that uh, in the end, every person just wants to be happy. That's the purpose of life. Yeah. Seek bliss and avoid pain, as the wise hermit likes to say. And believe me, once you realize that that's how people just work, life is a lot better. But you have to have some kind of goal in your life, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. And this goal is called surviving. And if possible, to be able to enjoy a good glass of wine or an exciting night from time to time. Yes? I mean... We must go with this. You do? And here I thought I'd get an indignant cry and a splash of wine thrown in my face. That's how most people react. <laughs> in any case, I think I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk. But the ship to Kile leaves before the first cock's crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. For what it's worth, I wouldn't mind if you stayed. The city needs more good-looking mercenaries. Well, it most recently gained a good-looking Naramese woman. Maybe that'll make up for when I leave. Keep your chin up. And he's off! I didn't mean to hit on you, I'm just saying that because you're a friend. Oh. Why is it stealing? I paid for these! Oh god, did we just have a date with me wearing that on my face? That is awkward. There is no dance emote, is there? Oh, sad. By the way, I was checking the VOD of one of the episodes we uh, did uh, a few days ago and I realized there is indeed a stable, but I don't remember how to get to it. The stables are supposed to be outside the city. Is it nighttime? Where am I supposed to sleep? You're a foreigner, aren't you? I wish I'd have crossed the Red Sea once. Me too, brother. Me too. The, the music here is so nice. Oi, you there. Da, da, oh, it's you me. again. No, I don't want to talk to you. I can't see squad, Captain. I can't see squad still. Is there any place I can uh, sleep here? You know, maybe this is an uh, innkeep after all. What is this? True woman, fight for freedom, peace in the righteous path. Woman of Enderal and the city guard. I like that message. Dame, do you have a moment? I think the two of us could do business together. Milbert Foxhand. Sounds suspicious, and that smile you cannot trust. Go ahead, my boy, tell me. You're a merchant, aren't you? I'm looking to trade. What? Oh, yes, sure. He is not a merchant. You? Oh. Look at him. He's got a lot of shit. Sneak. Sneak. Sneak is always useful. Teleport. <gasps> He's got teleport things? Hold on, hold on, hold on, because those are useful. Uh, I'll buy one of these. Frostcliff Tavern. Duneville Ark. Heartland Border. Northern Heartland. Under City. There's a lot of things. Essence gift, detect dead, chain lightning, turn dead, lost ones up to level 7, flee, oh, no, I thought I could summon, I, I wanna be a necromancer, deep in my dreams, I keep dreaming of becoming one, a soup, oh, it's a soul trap, not a soup trap, oh god, scroll of Ondusi's key, I don't know what that means, mentalism, marksman, Ah, 
light armor, heavy armor type is food. Well, maybe another time. Can I sell him some things? I think I got rid of most of my garbage last time. And those are a gift from my uh, buddy, Jespa. So I would like to keep them. Killed by the spoon. What the hell is that? Is this a reference to that video on YouTube? Like, more than 15 years ago? The killer with the spoon? Look it up if you haven't. It's hilarious. I love it. I don't need it though. You may have it. Encyclopedia! What do you need? Well, it is actually quite simple. But since you were kind enough not to just ignore me and walk by as the others did, I would like to share my gratitude for that first. You travel a lot, don't you? I can tell by the mud on your boots. Here, one of these books might come in handy on your journeys. Which one do you prefer? And wait, are you going to give them to me for free? Apprentice Alchemy, Handicraft, Enchanting... Yeah, you're giving them away for free, what's the catch? Believe me, there is none. Happy customers always return. And in order to make you happy, I first have to convince you of the superb quality of my products. See it as a... Uh, sample. Alchemy? Let's go with alchemy. Splendid. Say, would you happen to be interested in earning yourself some more coins? Or, even better, more books like those? There is something I need help with. Here's the catch. What's troubling you? I have a problem. And this problem is called Celia, which happens to be my sister. Where should I start? You know, I am one of those people who wasn't given everything by fate. Quite the contrary, in fact. When I was a child, the village I grew up in, Foomville, was ambushed by bandits. And both my father and my mother died during the attack. My condolences. Thank you, but it's ancient history now. Fact is, my sister and I dealt with this event differently. We managed to flee the attack and make it to Ark, where the guards, of course, threw us into the Undercity. But while I tried to honor my father's heritage by using the little I could from our savings by setting up a business, she preferred to wallow in her misery instead. She got to know the wrong people and has, since then, never done a single bit of honest work. Frankly, she's a dust addict. Day and night, she does nothing else but rot in those drinking holes in the Undercity and blows what little money she makes on her drage. Now, of course, she is still my sister. So all of these years, I paid her rent so she doesn't have to sleep on the streets. However, things have changed. Recently, she started using our father's heritage to pay for her addiction. And I will not accept that. What do you mean by she's a dust addict? I'm an outlander. Of course, you wouldn't know that. Glimmer cap dust, the blue bliss, or however you want to call it. It's a drage, a dangerous one. Apparently, it makes you feel as if you're walking the eternal paths. But it also kills you quicker than the sunfire. I see, and why don't you just talk to her? <laughs> oh oh shit, I'm I out did. of torch! Which is why she simply hid the key to our safe in the bank somewhere that I couldn't find it. So, long story short, this is where you come in. I want you to get her to give me that key. How you do it is up to you. But if you succeed, it won't be to your disadvantage. Fair enough. I'll help you. Where can I find her? Anywhere there's rats and dust. But she spends most of her time in the false dog in the Undercity. One of those dumps I told you about. Just come back to me once you've found something. You got it. Um, do we have another torch by any chance? And where do the torches live? Equipment? No. Scripts? Maybe here? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, I have more torches! It's a good thing I saved them, and yes, they do have a duration. I would say they last for about, uh... 30? 40 minutes? I'm not sure. Greetings! I see horses! It's night time. <gasps> I, I beg your pardon? Oh, come on. Don't you think I see how you're slaving away? You can hardly put one foot before the other. Look how exhausted you are. And this armor. Whew, it must weigh tons. Thank Malthus, I have just the right thing for you. A way to ease your travels. A mount. And you know what? Today's your lucky day. If you agree to help me out with a little problem of mine, I'll give you one for free. What? Uh, what kind of problem? <sighs> Naraldolf, a troll. For two months now, every night, I've been hearing this horrible, bloodthirsty grunting near the farm. The guard says I'm only imagining it, but trust me, I've seen enough of the world to know troll noises when I hear them. When it all started, the grunting came from back in the forest. But it's gotten closer each night. And I'm sure that thing is out for my animals. So, what do you say? You kill Nardal for me, and in return, you will get one of my very best donkeys for free. Woolwind. And believe me, he lives up to his name. You're gonna give me a donkey? Where the heck does that name come from? Narl... Narldolf? What? That doesn't ring a bell. Narldolf? As in... THE Narldolf? From the fairy tale, The Seraph and the Beast. Considering how horrible the grunting sounds, that name seemed fitting to me. But, call him what you want. It doesn't matter. As long as you kill him. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Any ideas how I can find him? Oh, that should be pretty easy. Just wait until shortly after midnight and then scout the area. Eventually, you'll hear that grunting I told you about. Then just find out where it comes from. And needless to say, be careful. You look like you can take care of yourself, otherwise I wouldn't have asked. But these beasts are not to be underestimated. I mean, I can buy a horse right meow if I want to. We have the muns. Wait till midnight. Oh, it's night 28 p.m. Where is that farm of yours? What was the name of the qu Oh shit, uh, the... By the title deeds of a house at Silren and Friends. Taming the waves. We have so many quests. The art of combat. Wait, I have a key of the fox hands vault. Why? Oh. Nardalf has to die. Wait until midnight. Yes. Um. Where is that it? She said close to the farm. Can I not? I, I can probably steal this horse. If I was sneaky enough. But I am not. Am I? Mine now. <laughs> How do I call my horse? I, I, uh, is it my ho Excuse me? Pardon me? So please lend the reason for Melgar Ironfold's bad temper. Oh, that, that's inside. Does the horse have stamina? Should I be aware of that? Can the horse go into town?
Do I have to be off the horse? How do I get off the horse? With E, okay. I'll park it here and hopefully I will find it the next day and it won't be stealing anymore. Madame? Isn't he the drunk? Huh? Are you all right? You look a little distraught. And if I am, what is it to you? Listen, I know you mean well, but not now. Please, not now. One moment. One moment. We need some light. I cannot see your face. There we go. And if I am, what is it to you? Listen, I know you mean well, but not now. Please, not now. Maybe I could help? Huh, help? Who are you, Lorem Waterblade reincarnated? Aye, maybe you could help me. But I think we both know what that really means. You want money. Everyone wants money. It's all that keeps this bloody world moving. That bastard golfer proved it. <sighs> I shouldn't talk like this to you. But still, please, just let me be. Just go. Search gold for Silverman's assortment of goods for things which could belong to Meogar Ironfall. Do we have to buy them? Huh. It's quite late at night, so I don't think there's much action in town right now. But it's worth looking into. Oh, look at this pug baby. Wish I could pet. Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's so disgusting and cute at the same time. I love these animals. Madame? Yes? Good evening. Is it the marketplace closed by now? Shit. Yeah, it is. I need to find uh, an innkeeper or something, sleep for a couple hours, and then go deal with the, uh, the, uh, with Gandalf. The, the troll, N Narl, Narl Dolph. Morales blessings, my friend. Didn't we do this already? Well, flea isn't exactly the right word for it. Oh well, very stupid, if you ask me. I'm very. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked economy. to this guy before. He's one of the merchants. Yep, this is an inn. I could probably sleep here for um, a couple hours. What time is it? <laughs> Just for an hour? My day. What bless Malfash's blessings. I'm looking for a room for the night. And our room's looking for you. It's Snow Ark Noble Quarter, but it's warm and clean. Want it? For 10 pennies, but I'm going to sleep overnight and uh, it's midnight in like two hours. Maybe we should wait. May your path always be even. I'll come back a little bit later. Thank you for your services. Yes. Oh, this is the old man. Evening. Hello. Everybody in this town has a name. I don't know who to talk to. I mean, it feels like everybody have their own separate storyline, and that is fucking great. It feels more personalized than uh, uh, Skyrim was. Okay, this is the marketplace. Yeah, yeah. Th this is the marketplace too? Wait a minute, no, 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 no. King's Just... Bay. Where is King's Bay? I have no idea where King's Bay is at. Oh, King's Bay is all this. Yeah, but where exactly? It is. Madame? Oh shit. Um, it how do I get out of the city? The streets aren't safe at this hour. Can you just take me there? Set destination? I need a fast travel for the harbor or something. Good evening. 
The town is so confusing, especially during the night. I don't know where to go. What's this? No. Um, hello, where's the exit? Uh, I'm looking for a gate, a big gate. Wait, if I find the, uh, the, the inn, I, I think I can figure it out. Got. Where's the innkeepers? I'm wasting time. That is a big fucking moon. Wait a minute. What happened to my torch? This torch lasted a lot less than normal. What? Stop ignoring me. I think the exit should be here. I just don't respect the All right. Heartland. Perhaps if I just go south? Oh no, yes. the horse is still Not stealing! Quite. God freaking damn it, well I lost my opportunity to steal that horse. I guess. Oh, 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 we have a marker. Kirash, what the? You gave me a scare, then. What do you want? Wait, I want to see your face. <clears throat> Kirash, what the? You gave me a scare, then. What do you want? Are you Nardolf? I beg your pardon. These um grunting noises you make. What are they? Grunting. I'm praying. By the name of the sun, don't you Sharees have any decency? Shall the ghosts of the sand take you, you ignorant excretion of a desert worm? You rancorous child of a camel! You... What is that? What is that? What is... what, what is what? Ah! That, uh, sir, is a troll. That is not old Dalafal. Oh god, it's drunk. Why am I punching him? No! Ah! Please die! And if you're healing, please stop healing! Oh god! He's so powerful! Leaving. Kill him for me. Thank you. I will assist. I got him now. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're the best. I got troll fat. My job here is done. Let's go get that mount. But Western world discovered? I, uh, is this the first time I'm... Uh, what? Uh, what the? <gasps> what is this? Oh my god. It's majestic. Can I ride it? What are you? It's a goat beast. I like you. You're super cute. Can I pet it? Pet, pet, pet. Good evening. Good evening Good to you too. It's been a, an eventful journey to the beach <sighs> at night. Did uh, the old man survive this? God, how many gates does this place have? And by this time, Frida, or whatever her name is, is probably sleeping. I'm Obulus, my dame, please. There you go. Oh, thank you. You 
truly are a good person. I already gave you ten pennies yesterday. You want more pennies? Oh, Freda is sleeping! Oh, I'm going back to the innkeeper. Let's sleep for the night. Turn in in the morning. I don't think I need the torch anymore. I should collect more torches. I didn't know they have um, a duration. I think we could use like one torch and keep it forever. But that's a nice immersive touch there. I like it. But it doesn't last forever. Evening. Hmm? I can play cards? Some people just don't know their path. Oh. I don't think I can play. It doesn't do anything when I try to interact with it. Hard times, these are. Hard times. Malfasi's blessings. And our room's looking for you. It's Give no me one! Oh, good. We'll open up the room for you. And please, no shady business. We walk the righteous path in here and don't want any trouble. Come I'll try not to masturbate too much. Is it important? Potatoes, garlic, radish. I just don't see yeah, that should be it. That's, That's not my wrong. room. <sighs> yeah, That's good. not my room. Me. Stew. Roast pork. Anyone? Uh. That is my room. Excuse me. Oh God, it's so noisy out there. Well, this is rightfully mine now. Oh, I cannot take it! Spare parts. What? What the hell? Hmm? Are you guys after me? Well, that's just how he is. How do you know I stole? He did say no shady business. Mm -hmm. I think we're mm -hmm. gonna be okay. <clears throat> Let's just sleep for the night. Let's sleep for seven hours. And hopefully I won't get arrested first thing in the morning. You guys are still here? Good lord! I don't think anybody wants to arrest me for like one gold. I can pay my dues. Hmm? Can I help you? Uh, good morning, city guard! My day. My dame. Stop ignoring me. I will ignore you as much as I want. I have business outside. What is this? Still wine. God damn it, everything is stealing. I miss the good old times of stealing with no repercussions, with no consequences. I don't know who you think you are, but no one breaks the law and gets away with it. Mm. There are two ways we can do this. You either pay your fine now, or you go straight to jail. And believe me, I'm serious. Easy there, I'll pay. Fair enough. That's less trouble for the both of us. Where are you taking me? What? Am I going to jail regardless? Eh? I was in jail. God fucking damn it. You didn't take my things, did you? I still have my items. Good. That was such a waste of time. I promise I'll be a go Oh my god, this is a different gate. Um... Map? Talk with Irinto Shalamamgasha. Who the hell is that? Where are they? Oh, I have made a huge mistake. But he's part of the quest, so I'm going for it. <clears throat> Shortcut. Is that the old man? 
who said he was praying? Why, hello there. Where would you look at this? Oh, Jesus Christ! Almost fell. Oh, fell anyway. E. Good morning! I see you're still alive and well! Hi. What? What the blazes was that? It looked like a troll to me. Oh, really? Saldrin, shield me from your wit. What I mean is how the heck does a troll get so close to the city gates? These guards are getting sloppier by the week. I wouldn't say that they killed it, didn't they? Anyway, I guess I owe you some thanks. Without your help, that would have ended differently. Now, excuse me, I have to get back to the city. Freda! Fre Freda, I, I won my free donkey! Freda, I, I killed Gandalf! And here's the proof! Good morning. Madame? Uh, wrong way. <sighs> I need more stamina. Next time we level up, we put some points into stamina, and that's final. I'm getting tired so fast. And I barely smoked in this episode, I promise. Her horse is still there. So, any progress? You don't need to worry about Gandalf anymore. The beast is dead. Yes, I've heard as much. Poor gods. This Quiranian Shreyamgar surely lit some fire under their buttocks. But he's right. Hard times we are in if a troll can roam so close to the walls, while the guards play Morala's dice in the tavern. Anyway, thank you. I'll sleep a lot better now that this thing is over with. Follow me. He's amazing! Here you go. This is Whirlwind. You get him for free, as promised. Take good care of him, will you? How would you like to call your mount? There's only one name for him. And that will be... Donkey. You became friends with Whirlwind, the Donkey. Ah. And it's a gigantic donkey. He is majestic. I love him. Dude, this is way better than a horse. Hands down. We have so much unfinished work in the city, though. We could try and do this. It has a marker. I don't think I can bring my donkey inside the city, unfortunately. I could also buy another... Oh, no, no, get off the... Get off the donkey! Get off the donkey! Madame? Can I call him? With L! I've never been to the Undercity, it's a good opportunity. Yes. Can I really, can I call my mount here? You can summon your mount only in exteriors. Okay, got it. Stop ignoring me! I'm not ignoring uh, you! Which quest are we doing now? Bring the key of the fox hand vault to Milbert's. Uh he gave me a book for free and I didn't click on it, I don't think. Teleportation scrolls, ingredients, books. There are so many different ways to make Ambrosia, it seems like. I thought it would be here. Weird. I got the blueprints. Small backpack.
Didn't we have learning scrolls or books we could read? Uh, seriously, I don't know where that book he gave me went. Let's see all the stuff here. Crafting book Alchemy Apprentice. There we go. By 1 to 17. Yes? I didn't talk to you! Hopefully it's not too early in the morning. Or is it? What time is it? 7.32. Do I have to wait for 30 minutes to wait, wait for the freaking- Can I help you? No, 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 you don't, you don't need to <clears throat> help me, I'm good. I'll keep my eyes open for Elia as well. Madame? Yes? What? Is this the place? Entrance to the Undercity discovered. Good morning! Huh? Help you? <laughs> they were not kidding. This place is a dump. A dark dump. Started blood and dust. Watch the pit fights in the dust pit. Jesus. A penny, madame. Please, just one penny. Here's ten. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. This guy is too ripped to be a beggar. An obelus? Oh, thank you. You truly are a good person. I should stop spending my money like this, but I can. I have to help them. This place is terrible. I feel dirty just by being here. Hmm? What? Huh? What do you want? May I wish for a specific song? Which one would you like to hear? The Song of the Aged Man. Sure. Where do you come from? Well, aren't you quite straightforward? Most people wouldn't dare ask. I am a half Kuirian, as you've probably guessed, but I grew up here. If I may say so, there's something foreign about you as well. You may. I am Nerimese and landed here recently. Ah, a Nerimese? A rare sight these days. I'd like to ask what brought you here, but the innkeeper will cut my pay for each minute I don't play music. Oh, just where did I put it? I'm so sorry about that. Holy shit. You know Walk blessed. No one knows from whence he came. His house lies on the edge. Of a solitary His voice is so nice. Glow of death and pallid light illuminate a dark at night, gleaming out the windows of the aged man's abode. If you batter up Love it. his door, say fair, that stuff so expensive. Your brother sent me. He wants you to tell me where you hid the safe key for your father's heritage. <laughs> oh, does he now? Good old Milburn and his silver tongue. Now he has found himself a lackey to do his dirty work for him. Let's make this short. I'll keep the key. No idea what he told you, but it wasn't the truth. He 
because if it were, you sure as fuck wouldn't be here. And uh, the truth would be what, exactly? Nobody. I'm sure he told you about the raid in our village, didn't he? Well, there's one thing he didn't tell you. After those fuckers killed our parents and tried to break into our house, he left me behind. <clears throat> Took all the valuables he could carry. Just ran away. If I hadn't managed to flee, he wouldn't have shed a fucking tear for me. But since fate was so kind to me, Things turned out differently. I made it out alive and walked all the way to Ark, where I thought he was. So, you'd think he was glad to see me when I found him in these tunnels, wouldn't you? Well, you're wrong. He let me sleep in the room he paid for from our parents' money, but made me feel as if it was a privilege. And guess what? That hasn't changed until today. Yes. He pays for my room in the barracks, but that's about it. You've run across a wooden doll carved by the ancient man. So you're a point, but if Milbert doesn't get access to that money, he will have to close down his shop. If so, you'll have to slip on the street. <laughs> Worth it. It has been far too long since this asshole has seen the mud of the undercity. <laughs> I get it, your brother is a prick, but I don't really see what you need this money for. It doesn't seem like you're doing anything productive. I survive. That's more than most people around here manage. And please, spare me your moral speech. I'm done with. I know that. But it doesn't change the fact that it's Milbert's fault too. Look, I promised your brother I would help him and I keep my word. Just give me that key. And then we will see. Are you deaf? I said no! But obviously, I need to put it another way. They left and sealed across the mighty sea. They suffered hunger, fear, and misery. Oh, oh! Damn, she's got a good left! Are you done yet? Yeah. Uh. Fine. Fine, I get it. You win. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you where the key is. But don't expect too much. The money's almost gone. Close to the entrance of the pit, there are some barrels. I hid it there. Go. And do what you have to do. Thank you, that was easy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, where's the door? <laughs> I have second thoughts about helping that guy, you know? There's something fishy about the guy. The fact that he offered me a book so open-handedly for my services. Yes. All right, son child. Stop right there. Hand over your money, and we might let you live. What? Play the hero, and well, you fill in the blanks. I'm going to count to three. If you're not gone by then, you will be picking up your teeth from the dust. Think you're tough? Huh? All right, then. Let's do this the hard way. Hey, how many of you are there? God, these bandits are no joke. Okay, boys. Okay, boys. This is it. Why are you guys so healthy? Oh my god, everybody wants to kill me now! Okay, that was a bad idea. Fuck it. I'm leaving. Are they still following me? <sighs> I need healsings. And fast. What can I eat? Human heart. Um... 
I have a bone meal. Damaged stamina? That's no good. I have some honey mead. Resist 10% frost damage. No, that won't do. This, however. This will heal me, right? Right? It doesn't heal me. Oh no. We are in deep shit. Please don't attack me. How the hell am I? What? What am I stuck on? Excuse me. That bread was such a sham. I think we need to go upstairs somehow. Or through here? My damn. Yes. What do you want? To cock at me? Just just leave. Please. Please just leave me be. Oh, I can't stay here any longer. This place hurts. This is ridiculous. It's called life. 30 per sheep, and not one penny less. Oh, let the flesh maggots have you. May your path always be evil. Got it. Put off the evil hour. Mmm, a real pretty thing you are. We should spend some time together. No, thank you. What? I overheard your talk with that merchant. Actually, I didn't hear anything. What happened? I don't see how that concerns you. Don't you have some theater play to attend to, son child? Maybe I can help. Help me? Well, I doubt that. That is, unless you have a pouch with 300 pennies to give away. Oh, and maybe two sheaves of God's tongue to go with it. That's eating the last penny right out of your pocket. What do you need the money for? You're really nosy. You know that. But fine. What bad can it do? That son of a virtue over there, Cabal Thorwall. He's the only merchant in the Undercity who still has Vinroot in his stocks. But since he knows that, he sells it for a price that would have upper city snobs running away screaming. Well, and if the Apothecary in the Pest House doesn't get new roots soon, the infected they treat there will start dying like flies within a day. Are you an apothecary? Sure. By day. And by night I work as the Grandmaster's personal Kalean dancer. <laughs> Jokes aside. Nah. I'm just an errand girl. But down here, having paid work is already something to feel blessed for. And those infected, air quotes, can only be treated with that particular root. You're no alchemist, are you? <laughs> Aye. Red vine root is the only thing that can help get those flesh maggots out of an infected body. I repeat, can. Even with a proper treatment, most people don't make it through. Any idea as to why this cabar doesn't just lower the prices? He must know what's at stake. Of course he does. But he sees an opportunity to get rich quick, and so he uses it. He's always been like that. Maybe I could talk to him? Maybe you could, hi. I guess it'll be worth a shot. We need at least ten sheaves so that the Apocathory can make use of them. And I don't want to seem ungrateful, but don't expect to get anything in return for your help. You don't have to give me anything. Huh? Well, fine then. Good luck. This is not made for drugs, is it? I've been told you're selling red vine root. Y yeah? Yeah? What? What the? Um. That was weird. I cannot click on it. It's dead, Jim. Um. Wow. 
Hello? When I can take your stuff? For free? You won't get mad at me? Recipe? Chemicum Claws. Take it. I can take all his shit for free. Oh, baby. Well, since I cannot interact with you, I might as well take your shit. Bit of brandy. I don't want your buckets. I will take your bit of brandy, though. I don't know, is this broken? I'll try reloading my game and see if that works. There we go. <sighs> oh, by the name of the sun. Won't this ever stop? Tell Nathalia, the apothecary, or whoever sent you that the price stays. Nathalia says that without the root, dozens of people will die. Doesn't that mean anything to you? It does, actually. Yes. But it does not change the fact that I need to live somehow, too. And that 300 per sheaf is already a fair price. Go on. Ask those upper city merchants. You're lucky if they sell it below 500. <sighs> Listen. I know exactly what you think. This ruthless bastard. How greedy. How evil. And so on and so forth. Well, that's not how it is, believe me. So, back to business. Are you looking for supplies? If not, just shove off. Oof. 300 pennies. Or search through Kabar's sleeping area in the communes. Might as well. Wait, search for the key at the marketplace of the Undercity and bring it to Milbert. Didn't I, I bring the key? Uh. Okay. Uh. You probably won't mind if I do this, right? I'm going there. How the hell? Kaba? As soon as possible. I'm trying to read this, please. At the corpse pit. No weapons, no stupid ideas. I don't need these pumpkins. Any pouches in here? Huh? Huh? Hopefully nobody is chasing after me. Oh, we gotta go through that uh, that door again. Am I going to get attacked on sight? Please be nice. Maybe they forgot about me. The hell is this? Ow! Ow! A mad rat! Dude, this rat is the size of a house! Where was my last save? Let's try that again, rat! You and me! Kill it! Kill it fast! Before it kills you! Oh my god! Oh, hell motion. Quick! Drink it! Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, I was very brief. I don't feel any better. What, what happened to these guys? 
I didn't kill him. Did the rat kill him? Who are they? But I just don't have that much. What the blazes do you expect me to do? Shh. Please, my dame. You need to understand. And you need to understand that we're just the messengers. A debt that you don't pay is a debt we can't pay to the father. And the last thing we want to do is disappoint the father. Or do we, Roban? We don't. Five hundred pennies until next week. After that, we will make sure this corpse pit finally lives up to its name. Understood? Yes, my name. Of course. Glad to hear that. You'll hear from us. Someone is being extorted. Oh shit. Turn off the light. Firm leather helmet. Doink. There, buddy, you just happened to be in the neighborhood and I saw you. What the? You? Who was that? I. <sighs> Listen, for your own good, I advise you to just turn around. This is nothing you want to get involved in. It really isn't. You're being blackmailed, right? By the Ralata? No. I was simply naive. And now I have to live with the consequences. About two years ago, my son died. He drowned in the canals. That whole thing, I couldn't handle it. Business went to shit, and so did I. And when I was finally able to think straight again, I looked for help. You took a loan from the Ralata. Yes, I suppose you can figure out the rest. Probably. You couldn't pay back the rates anymore, so this is why you refuse to sell those roots for less. Yes. What other choice do I have? As pathetic as it sounds, right now the apothecary and their infected are the only reliable source of income I have, especially with that whole red madness thing going on on the surface. Can you ask the guard for help? I hope you're not being serious. As if those redcoats would risk getting their shiny armor dirty. And I suppose you can just explain the situation to Relata. If you can say that, you don't know who we're talking about. So what now? <sighs> Good question. What now? Here. That should at least cover the next rate. Give the apothecary the sheaves they need. You're giving me the money? Just like that? Why? Don't ask, just take it and sell Natalia the roots he needs. I, by the righteous path, I will not forget this. Thank you, really. Ah, and here. I found this book in an abandoned shack. Maybe a traveler forgot it. It will be of more use to you than it is to me. One memory point added to your inventory. Nice. Okay, we are going to take a small break and I will see you on the next episode of Enderal. Until then, thank you everybody for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.